Today marks the 53rd anniversary of the assassination of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It was shortly after he gave that mountaintop speech. You know the one where he said those words, I've been to the mountaintop and I have seen the promised land. And then after that, he says, I may not make it there with you. And just a few hours later, he was shot and killed. It's telling, isn't it, that today is Easter Sunday, a day where we celebrate uh, new life, hope, where love conquers death, where justice conquers oppression, where peace, peace is how we learn to live with each other. Friends, I'd like for us to take a few moments to pause in silence in prayer, maybe consider Dr. King's words and his life and his legacy, his family, <laughs> that he was human, he was a fully human person, yet had a divine calling. Consider where you are in the Dr. King story, where you might be with things like white supremacy or racism, sexism, cisgenderism, homophobia, all of those forms of that eats away at us in the deep of our core and our souls. And sometimes we are blinded by it because we have so much fear. We don't want to lose what we think we have. We definitely don't want to lose power or control or financial stability. But those are the things that can keep us in a sinful state. So I invite you to remember Dr. King, to remember Jesus on the cross, who took on the face of the scapegoat, of all those people that we blame for life's ills our hatred, the emblem of our shame and self-disgust. So, hopefully he did that so that we would not continue to oppress and marginalize and hate one another. that fits in with our lives.